It's getting so late and you can still hear the birds. Hi guys, <laughs> welcome back to a brand new vlog. I have had such a fantastic day. So productive, I've had calls, I've been posting things, I've been creating content, I've been doing my emails, I've been chatting with Rebecca and sorting some things out with Alex. I've just put on a full face of Charlotte Tilbury makeup and I just feel, what is it about, what is it about Charlotte Tilbury makeup that like, it's just so unbelievable? It feels so glowy and amazing now. I have just filmed it for a TikTok. Anyway, I want to go see what Alex is up to. Let's just go see what he's doing because I've not seen him for a little bit because I was too busy putting on a face. <laughs> are you up to, husband? I'm watching Shit's Creek and making broccoli. Making broccoli? Oh, yum. Oh my gosh, I just forgot. Yes. So, so glad we got our pastry and vaginalis order. I'm on a subscription now every two weeks. And this is one of our favourites, isn't it? Which one's this? The crab one? This is the crab. I think this is the crab and prawn tortellini. Oh, it's right here. Crab and chilli tortellini with tarragon butter and fennel terrali, terrali crumb. Oh my gosh, guys, it's one of our absolute favourites. <laughs> Look at you in your little matching set and your cute little slippers. You're so adorable. They match, they kind of match, don't they, the Do blues? They? Oh, yeah. Awesome. You look so cosy, comfy, babe. I'm like, in the dream. Mega cosy, don't you? Living in the dream. Do you like my makeup? It looks great. Babe, this is my math skills. <laughs> no math skills. Um, yeah, so Alex is making the food. In fact, we've been here most of the day. We've kind of turned the dining room into our, our like into our office space because it's we do have the office, but I don't know. We we seem to gravitate to here recently, especially with the beautiful weather recently. Not today. The beautiful weather. Well, it's, today. it's awful today, isn't it? But we've still got loads done. We've even had we've even had the Dyson heater on. That's how chilly it's been. And did you notice I've put the heating on? Put the heating on, and I've put our little um our little electric on. God, it pumps out some heat. That, flipping heck, that is roasting hot. That's pumping out more heat than this one does. Yeah, 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 yeah. This one, this one doesn't seem as hot. Anyway. Boring home stuff. Um, yeah, so we've just been chilling here most of the day. So I feel really, really good today. I'm in a really fantastic mood. I just feel really like thankful and happy and kind of a bit more upbeat. I've been trying to wake up earlier recently and that's definitely helping me. Going to bed a tiny bit earlier and then waking up earlier and I get into the mode of the day by like 20 past eight. I'm kind of there with a coffee, dressed, feeling good and ready to work. So that's massively helped my productivity and my, my wellness, I suppose. So I'm feeling far, far better. Um, by the way, I just did my hair. In case any of you are gonna ask, I just did my hair with the Dyson Corral. In honesty, you can, I'll be completely honest with you, you can probably assume that any time I've done my hair, it's going to be with the Dyson from now on because I am a Dyson ambassador now, which is huge for me and I'm super excited. Uh, but yeah, so just so you know. Big and I'm still getting questions about how I keep the colour of my hair and the tone of my hair even though I did that IGTV so if you're someone who's asking about the colour of my hair and how I'm keeping it kind of blonder silver platinum right now have a little peek on my Instagram at in the fro on my IGTV I recently did a video where I went through five of my favourite purple shampoos and that should really help you so yeah <laughs> right um, I'm just gonna get yeah was that a glass of wine I just heard? <laughs> Did you just pour me one? That might have been for me. Do you like a little goblin? It's like a little goblin. Oh, it's red wine. You want a red wine? I put a white wine in the freezer. It's not good. Oh, that's nice. Is it? Yes, I bought this so that we could both have some Shiraz together. Because they. Because it's, it's, it's not jam shed. No, I know jam shed's a Shiraz. So I'm just trying to find a Shiraz that's. Comparable because I can't buy jam shed guys. You know. No, it's still on the way. I still I can't get hold of jam shed because it's practically sold out everywhere because you guys keep buying it. And I'm so glad. Is that why? Yeah, yeah. So many so I have had. If I had a pound for every person who has messaged me a picture of their jam shed wine, You'd I'd be I no, I'd have I'd have probably a good five hundred quid. I think I'm a jam I've shed had so many 
<laughs> we could buy so much jam shed. We could buy a hundred bottles How much of is jam it a bottle? shed. It's sometimes an offer for five pounds. If that wine was thirty quid, I would buy it. Legit. Yeah, I would too. To be fair, it's absolutely unreal, isn't it? Anyway, we shouldn't talk about it anymore. People keep buying it. Stop <laughs> buying jam shed wine. <laughs> oh God, I can't wait for this. Ready. Pasta, pasta. Hi guys, welcome to my bathroom. I'm gonna bring you in here for my nighttime skincare routine. I just wanted to do a bit of a little pamper session and to massage my skin quite a bit. Earlier on I started sort of playing around with a bit of a massage in the mirror. I think I just got a little bit bored <laughs> and I started sort of playing around with these little massage techniques and honestly like my face felt so much more like sculpted and like up. It just felt like it was up. I thought tonight I'll kind of work a little bit more into it with some lovely products, pamper myself a little bit and then after this I might even just get a bath because I probably do need to exfoliate some of my tan off. Okay, where shall we start? Before I forget, for complete transparency, this section of the video is an integrated paid for advertorial with Charlotte Tilbury and I'm honoured to be working with Charlotte. As you guys probably know, I use so much of her makeup and skincare. I'm sure you all know of how fantastic her products actually are and a lot of scientific based research has gone into her skincare and Charlotte has just launched two brand new skincare innovations, the Magic Serum Crystal Elixir and the Magic Lip Oil Crystal Elixir. So I'm going to show you these. I'm going to start off by cleansing my skin. I need to take off all of my makeup and have a nice fresh base. So I'm going to start with the Goddess Cleansing Ritual 1 and 2. These are like a double cleansing duo. First being the Citrus Oil Radiance Cleanse and the second being the Purifying Charcoal Cleanse. So you've got the kind of radiance and hydration before you can go in with the Purifying Charcoal Cleanse which will kind of pull out all that extra dirt and just leave you with that very spa-like cleansed complexion. So I need to tie up my hair or else this is going to get in the way and annoy me and probably annoy you. I'm going to really quickly take off my eye makeup first and foremost. It's such a shame I'm to take off this makeup. I absolutely love it. I love that you don't have to apply any water with this. It just straight away starts to melt with the heat of your hands and your face. This will just be melting the makeup off of my face so I can remove it so much easier while I'm doing this. I want to kind of have more intention with it. I've been thinking about it recently that obviously the amount of time we spend in the mirror every day taking off our makeup and putting on makeup and especially when it comes to doing your morning skincare routine or evening skincare routine I often find myself just slapping it on and then walking away from the mirror after a couple of minutes I kind of gained nothing from it, I've not massaged it in, I've not worked it into the skin I haven't waited until one product is absorb before adding another one and it's almost like applying it for the sake of applying it rather than for any other purpose and I feel like when I actually spend time like massaging my face and really kind of working products in it kind of helps me calm down at the end of the day it also helps the appearance of the skin and your face just looks so much more like contoured plumper because you've been working heat into the skin this product also comes with a muslin cloth that you can use to take it off so i'm just going to use kind of lukewarm water the best tip if you quite like to use muslin cloths on your face to take off any cleansers just make sure that they're lukewarm and they're not boiling hot because it can break some of the capillaries and little veins in your face second cleanse incoming so i'm going to use the purifying charcoal cleanse i'm just going to add some water to my face before i apply this so the charcoal in this will just work to kind of extract the impurities in the skin just from the power of absorption. I'm just gonna massage this into my skin until it just starts to turn white. And then just back to the same muslin cloth. My skin genuinely feels so clean and so smooth, like almost to the point of squeaky clean goodness, but without the dryness. Like you can see that shine, it's so smooth. Okay, let's move on to serum. And this is so exciting that I get to show you this. This is Charlotte's 
Magic Serum Crystal Elixir. So much research is going to this. This is very much science powered skincare. Genuinely, the glow, the hydration, and the appearance of the skin after using this is really something else. So first of all, this contains polyglutamic acid, which is four times more hydrating than hyaluronic acid. So you can imagine the hydration qualities for your skin. <laughs> and then the formula is also infused with Replexium, which is a peptide blend that has been clinically proven to reduce wrinkles by 34%. Like the stats that have been found from the consumer trials I've done with this product are extremely impressive. <laughs> oh, and it also contains golden vitamin C, which has enhanced penetration into the skin. So it's for just a brighter looking skin and a more even skin tone. So all you need to do is put about six drops of this onto your fingertips. And then there is a magic application for this product, which I think is such a lovely idea. And I'm, I'm going to quickly show you. So with the serum on your hands, you start from the chin and you kind of work outwards towards the jaw and then a little bit higher. And again, you're just kind of pressing the product in. Something like this really focuses you on what you're doing rather than just going quick, 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 let's get it finished you're actually focusing on the method and making sure the product is applying beautifully to the skin and in the correct way. So you work all the way up the face and then across the forehead to the temples. And then you use a shimmering wave technique where you go upwards and down, and upwards and down in a wave movement. And then finally is the crystal raindrops technique. So using your three fingers, you just start to very lightly tap across. So my face actually just feels plumper and lovelier just because of the way I applied it. But as you can see, my skin now is lovely and glowy. Can you see that all across where the light's catching it? And it just has a hydrated feel to the skin. Anyway, it's available now on the Charlotte Tilbury website. I'll leave all of the links down below for you of all these products that I'm going to use. And it's £60 for the bottle, but this will probably last you quite some time. You only need like six drops each time you apply it. Okay, next up I'm going to use the Magic Eye Rescue to revive, rejuvenate and smooth to turn back the clock. Sounds good to me. I've loved this for years, so it's a really beautiful formulation. It just feels so hydrating and creamy under the eyes. The thing I really don't like is when you apply eye cream and then you can't tell you've applied eye cream about five minutes later. I like to know that my eyes have that hydration throughout the evening or even throughout the day, really. So apply that and always with my ring finger for less pressure. Okay, moving into moisturiser, I'm going to use Charlotte's Magic Night Cream. I'm sure you're all very, very aware of the original and the hugely loved Charlotte's Magic Cream. She created this back when she was doing all of the famous uh, models faces backstage. All the models were asking for it and in the end she ended up bottling it or putting it in a beautiful top like this. But for evening, just for something a little bit more intensive, I'm gonna go in with the Magic Night Cream instead. This is a completely different texture. It's more, it's a lot thicker, it's more oily. It almost to me feels a little bit more like a mask when you apply it. So if you're looking for something really nourishing and quite thick, a bit heavier and a lot richer for your skin for overnight, then this could be the one for you. Every single night I always apply a serum and I always apply a moisturiser over the top. A lot of people ask me on my messages, do I really need a serum and a moisturiser? For me, it is a part of my skincare routine that I will never ever skip. The serum is that hydration packed product. That it's most likely gonna boost your skin, add radiance, give it all of the nourishment that it needs. And then the moisturiser is that sort of top layer to lock it all in and keep all that moisture and goodness inside. So every evening I'll always apply an eye cream, a serum, and then a moisturiser over top. And I'll also do that every single morning too. 
and the difference it's had to my skin since implementing a routine like that is enormous. My skin is so much plumper, my complexion's a lot better. The vitamin C products that I've used have brightened my skin and altered my complexion completely. A lot of my blemishes have gone. The overall surface and texture of my skin is completely different. So I just so highly recommend finding a routine that you love with a fantastic serum, a great eye cream, and a really beautiful moisturizer for over the top. Working skin upwards especially to try and plump it upwards and the final product guys the brand new magic lip oil crystal elixir and again charlotte could not rave more about this product during the consumer trials it was found that this boosted the lips volume by 70 percent over 28 days this is more of a lip serum it has this rollerball tip with the oil inside of it it makes your lips look so glossy and again charlotte kind of recommended going around the very edges and outside of the lips especially for anyone who smokes who has the little fine lines around here she said it makes an enormous difference to plumping at those lines and really enhancing the look of the lips overall and it's also uber glossy so for the day it's just a beautiful lip oil and then for the evening it's like a lip mask and again, like the serum, this is just packed with the groundbreaking ingredients that Charlotte's found for these products, including the hyaluronic acid and plant extracts. It'll just boost and enhance and hydrate the lips. So that is my full Charlotte Tilbury evening skincare routine. Look how glowy my face looks. So now I'm just gonna go to bed with this like full mask of oil and hydration on my face. And in the morning, I'll show you just how beautiful my skin looks after a night's sleep. Whoa, who is it? <laughs> Morning guys! It is another really rubbish day, which means we can't do anything in the garden, which is a bit of a shame, so we're just gonna have to work again from the orangery. Just a quick little recap on my skin in case anyone wanted to sort of see the next day. My skin feels like a soft baby's bum. I hope you can kind of see. This is very up close and personal, but it's so smooth right now, and it still feels like plumped. And now I'm just going to get myself a shower and get into a pair of sweatpants and a jumper for the whole day. <laughs> it is a Gucci kind of day today. I can wear my sweats, but at least I know I've got the cutest bra on. <laughs> let's go for, yeah, let's go for some lazy Sunday morning. I'm going to do the most minimal, minimal makeup today super quickly. I've just put on my morning magic serum, again for this glowiness. I'm going to now apply some magic cream. That's wonderful. This is most likely going to be maybe like five products because I barely want to do anything. I'm going to put on some Wonder Glow, Charlotte Tilbury, for a glowy illuminated face. Although I already have that really right now, but <laughs> extra glow. I'm just going to put on some Magic Away Concealer. Do I see blue sky? Oh my gosh, I really hope that the blue sky comes out today. Film star bronze and glow. Warm it up a little bit. Lips, as always, is iconic nude. I'm just gonna add that all over the lips. A sort of a bigger fluffy brush straight back into that bronzer. Sweep it over, just primarily the crease of the lid. It's going to add the Full Fat Lashes Mascara, which is what I was wearing yesterday. A little bit of Kim Carey W to the middle. Things that was literally sat right there, might as well. All that's left to do is to brush up my brows. And that is my super minimal makeup look of the day. Yeah. Right, let's go see what Alex is doing. Hello. Hey. Alex has come to join me. Have I? Yeah. I've just been sat editing the vlog for you guys. And Alex has been doing a workout, haven't you? You're a cutie. I feel horrendous now. Do you really? Mm -hmm. Oh no. That's why, you never, that's why you should never stop working out. Yeah, she'll just carry on. I haven't worked out in over a week. I was really feeling it, wasn't I? And I was doing a good run every night and leg stretches and then I lost my mojo, as did you. But it's fine, Do you know what? I think I think everyone's putting a lot of pressure on themselves to be not only work productive but to be like a fitness babe. Maybe we should all just of a take sudden. three weeks off and just eat chocolate and drink beers. But I 
babe, that's what I've done for the past week. I've not drank enough beer though. I've been drinking so much uh, every night. I've been eating chocolate continuously. We both got one of those massive bar, like the big bars of chocolate. It was a mistake that I ate yeah, thing in that was silly. We, we ate it, I'm I gonna ate mine. I'm going to do it when I go to the shop in a bit, I'm going to buy another one. We need to go to the shop. How yeah. good is Cadbury? Just, just plain dairy milk. I know you're it's a big great. fan of all I've got, I've got one little piece left of my last bar. Uh, you better keep your eye on that. Yeah, we need to go shop. No, I know we do, but do you want to come with me so we can buy more? The one thing I do want us to do is, can we unpack the lights so we can show everybody? Really? Right now? So no, big. no, in a bit, in a bit, but I think it'd just be quite nice to show everyone our new light. I don't think it's going to come through the front door. The light will, the box will. The light will, I hope. We can just put it on a bed upstairs. So we have bought this light and if, if you watched the vlog a couple of weeks ago, you might have seen when I was sort of a bit gutted because I'd accidentally, I'd accidentally said yes to the wrong colour of light and this particular light is by Alex Schultz and, the, and it comes in a gunmetal or a nickel or a brass. Anyway, it had been assumed I wanted nickel. I'd accidentally signed off on it, not realising that someone would have got my order. The good news is it's all been sorted and we already have our brand new light. It was delivered this morning. It won't fit through the door because the box is too big. So we need to unpack it in the garage and then bring the light inside the house. So I thought I might show you that. It's for our hallway um, and it's going to be such a cool like focal piece. But whilst editing the vlog, I've realised that there's, there's things I've filmed this week that are all a little bit disjointed. So I'm just going to go back to like two days ago, just when I'm about to start my, my nails. This is a very exciting moment for me. Also a little bit nerve wracking. I am going to try <laughs> to do my nails. Loads of you have been messaging me about this to ask, what the hell am I doing about my nails? I've never ever done my own nails my own like shellac nails at home because I've never needed to and I've really never wanted to either. That took me hours but they look really good. It's like a lilac-y grey, you can properly see it now thankfully. I'm really really happy and my nails feel good. Um, they're a good length again, they've just got a little bit of length but not crazy. <laughs> so I'm really really happy with them but it took me hours. It's now, it's nearly half past seven and um, I've got a glass of Oyster Bay. And tonight I am cooking, and I'm cooking one of my favourite dishes. I've not made it in about a year or so, mainly because it involves phyllo pastry sheets, and um, they don't sell them everywhere. Um, so a while back I managed to track some down, and it's been in the freezer ever since. And I've just been kind of waiting to do this dish, and I thought I would do it today. And one of the main reasons is because I've not been eating any cheese. But unfortunately I've not been able to get the feta alternative to my favourite of my life. So on this one occasion we're having feta and it is a phyllo pastry feta cheese spinach pastry pie with pine nuts. I'm just talking about pine nuts as I chat with you. It's just the most delicious dish. It's one I found in Jamie Oliver's 15 minute meals if you remember like that. Such a famous cookbook. <laughs> If you remember it, it's so good. And I have made it constantly ever since. I, I make it so much now that I don't even need to look at a recipe. Like, I love it. It's great. Ooh, Alex. Yes, sir. Hey, can you just go cut me a nice sprig of the rosemary off of the bush? There's definitely enough of it. <laughs> we'll give you about three tons of rosemary. Uh, rosemary. <laughs> need to make a lot of rosemary things. Yeah, so I am, I am master chef today. <laughs> That smells absolutely unreal. How nice, our own like rosemary bush. Now, I have my pan with my phyllo pastry sheets that I've sort of put out on some um, greaseproof paper. I'll leave, um, like, well, like I said, if you've got the Jamie Oliver 15 Minutes cookbook, it is so good. And then in here I've got my, my eggs, my feta cheese, pine nuts, wilted spinach, nutmeg, cayenne pepper, um, oregano, nutmeg should I say. Usually as well you would do it with lemon, with fresh lemon zest. However, it's the one thing I couldn't get from our shop with what's going on right now. Things I've seen random quantities. So it's the one thing I couldn't get unfortunately, but I've just put a little bit of lemon juice in instead and I'm sure it'll be absolutely fine. And then as soon as you do that, I put even a little little handful of Vi-Life over the top last little topping and then all you do is pull back the phyllo pastry sheets 
So it becomes like a little parcel like this. I'm pretty sure I've probably shown you this before in a vlog. I must have done. You just kind of all wrap it back. So it's just like a little pie. <laughs> Cute little dish. So it's like that. And I can get rid of these edges. The grease proof paper is there so that you can pull the pie out later on. But I just don't want this to catch fire in the oven. Like I've had that before where the extras have touched like the tops of the grill and then it's sort of set alight. <laughs> so let's not do that again. I don't have any olive oil right now so I'm just using my chilli oil. And just get a little bit of that and just over top. Just to help kind of help seal this in a little bit. And just a little crack of pepper and a crack of salt and then I'll just quickly wash this and then just put a few little sprigs of rosemary over the top like that. You then just put the pie, oh god this is heavy, onto the hob just to start like cooking the underneath of it. How great does this look though? And then after you've done that you pretty much just put it in the oven for like 40 minutes until it cooks through and then when you cut into it it's just like a tart. It's honestly delicious. I was just about to cut into this and realised that I should really show you. So this is my feeler pie right here. Okay, I really want to get this little this crack moment on my on my phone. So good. Then hopefully we can just but just to let you know I am spending the morning cleaning I've cleaned all the kitchen and I've done all of the orange root as well and it's looking fabulous and now I'm just heating up a piece of my banana bread I've got my <laughs> I've got my whole earth ready to go on my banana bread it smells great actually I've got it in the microwave and just put a nice nice healthy amount of peanut butter on it because that is the way I roll I'm gonna clean the lounge in a minute because we were in there last night watching our new TV and I need to like undo all the curtains and stuff like that. And then Alex is outside, as I showed you. I did I show you? Alex is outside ripping up parts of the garden. So it's somewhat a very productive home-based day today. <laughs> Yummy! Hi guys, the day has gone on. I still look like this and I've slightly ruined my beautiful nails because I've been gardening but it looks unreal let me let me show you what I've done for the patio Alex has been doing the garden and he's been ripping out bits of like old stairs and huge like railway sleepers he's been absolutely grafting so while he did that I've done this entire patio area I've weeded I've neatened everything up and it looks so good now and I've set it all up with our sun lounges let me show you Okay, I just had to lower the camera settings majorly, but look how lovely this is. So I completely weeded all this patio and tied it all up and like that tree was hanging off the wall. And we've cut back the rosemary bush because it was taking over. I've put out the sun lounges with lots of little extras. And now it looks so nice. Got a jug of water out there. And I'm going to sit down here. I'm going to go get a shower and then sit down here with a calippo in a minute. Got a little pile of rocks there that we used out of the... Um, that was out the fireplace and we're gonna do something with them later but i don't mind them there this just looks so nice now um i'll try and like leave some like details like this beautiful herringbone throw and these gorgeous little cushions are so so lovely just like linens i'll leave them all linked down below in the hat and everything just in case you're interested but this is the bridgman's marlow set and now like having its own little area here you can really see how nice this is I'm so happy with this, I really am. Yeah, we have been absolutely on it today. So kitchen's clean, orange is clean, lounge looks unreal. I've tidied this whole lounge. Oh yeah, I didn't show you guys, I did it on my stories. But I've tied up this entire lounge, the TV and the bank and all of some speaker now look so good. Everything looks so fab. I'm so happy, what a productive Saturday this is. And then all the orangery is tidy and the whole kitchen looks beautiful. So happy.
Hi guys, I feel like I'm about to go out on the town. How sweet is this little dress? And it's so affordable. I've got this cut out work. I hope you can see that. It's like gorgeous cut out work and it just fastens with a zip up the back. But it's a really lovely length and I love these more puffy sleeves. I just came across this on the website of the day and was like, oh, this is really cute. So I picked it up just in case I mean, I like to have more of a little date night thing in the garden, why not? So sweet. In fact, let me just show you a few of the things that I got. I didn't buy very much, but I got about three or four things just to sort of give me a little, of a, a little bit of a wardrobe boost. But I thought this was rather gorgeous. I've been wearing this all morning actually. I just was putting on my was putting on my makeup earlier with this on. You might have seen my Instagram video. But the thing that's so nice about this, it's got this wrap back. Yeah, just a nice detail to the back with the wrap, which is quite nice. And then this is just a lovely oatmeal y beige tone that I really quite like when I got a bit of a tan. And then I bought these really, really easy. I quite like them actually when I put them up onto my calves just to hook them up a little bit gives them a little bit more shape so not so baggy but they're just almost a pair of creamy cargo pants quite a nice material it's quite soft especially when it's iron it's almost a bit silky um with a drawstring to the waist i just took this in but i think it's it's quite nice and i've just had it on actually with some heels here you are i was just filming a little tiktok video actually yeah, I was just filming a TikTok showing a few of these little new in pieces. I thought it might make a nice little TikTok. So I have these out for that reason and I, I, quite, I really like it. But my favourite thing that I bought is this shirt, which is absolutely amazing. Look at these sleeves. They're like puffed over sleeves, kind of to the elbow, just below the elbow. And really long lengths. I think, I just love it. It's almost just like boyfriend kind of shirt. What size did I get this in? I feel I went a size up actually on this. Yeah, I went for this in a size small. It'd usually be an extra small, but I wanted it to fit quite big and oversized and I love it. So I might just tuck in, do a few more of these buttons here and then just tuck in one side. Actually, do you know what? I'll just keep it cleaner. I'm just gonna tuck in both sides, bag them out a little bit. I'm just gonna leave the back out because I quite like that longer style i love it and again it was quite affordable as well this shirt i think if i remember rightly i think it's about 35 pound at most i'm really into my shirts at the moment pull out my dior necklace with it quite sweet quite nice with a few different necklaces laid actually on this i did also pick up this sweet little ruche top from um the joanna ortiz collection as well and it's all silky and gorgeous again just have a little peek at my my tiktok on my instagram video i'm gonna put this on instagram as well so you can see that and this really sweet chambray style play suit and it just fits really casually um, and I was wearing it with my Gucci bra under it and you could just sort of see the Gucci bra poking through. It's really, really sweet. And it comes with a little tie as well. But this would be great with a big, big belt on. But for the spring, that is such a great find. I've also just filmed this little makeup look, which again is on... Oh, it's on my stories, so it's most likely in a highlight, if you do want to know. But Alex has just bought some black spot remover for flags so alex now is on again with the garden trying to get the dark spots and the darkness off of our flags because the other day i was like oh let's just get it completely reflagged and then i realized actually it would cost thousands and thousands to get this place reflagged and actually the flags are fine they're a beautiful material i don't know what they are maybe a limestone I'm probably not a limestone and there's no way we're ripping them out so instead we are resorting to cleaning them up and making them amazing so i'm quite looking forward to this and i'll show you the finished result if any of you guys want to kind of do up your patios and you're a bit it's looking a bit dull and sad this could be what you need alex got on amazon for like 20 quid so i'll i'll leave it down below if it works Okay, I now, I need to film my next how-to in 10 and it's going to be, well, you've already have seen it. You'll already have seen it. It's already up on my channel, but I'm gonna do it on how to do your own at home shellac manicure because I have been inundated with people asking me how to do it. And since I showed my Instagram, 
video the other day. A lot of people said, can you please do this in more depth? So I'm gonna do it as an actual full video. So I just need to go start that. I might just sit down now upstairs in my office. In fact, shall I show you where I film my how-to in tens? I don't know if I've, don't know if I've shown you that actually. Welcome to the office. <laughs> so this is where I've been filming my how-to in tens just against my inspiration wall. And I've got this full setup going on at the moment. Microphone, screen, this is a Canon 5D Mark IV. I've got set up for this, I've got a light. I need to put all this bump away. Yeah, but this is where I film it, so I think I'm just gonna stay as I am, because I love this shirt. What I love about this, this is what I've always wanted, is a studio that I can come on to, press go, and just start filming and not have to spend 20 minutes moving stuff and setting up my camera and setting up the background. Whereas now I can sit down and go, right, let's film a how-to intent. It's honestly, it seems, it might seem really quite a small thing, but for me, it's so useful just to be able to just go for it when you've got an idea and you've got something you wanna do. So I'm gonna film that and then I'll be right back. Jobs are good and done. The thing I love about these videos is how to intend so I can talk about something that I'm quite interested in and passionate about. And it takes me like 10 to 15 minutes and now I'm like, jobs are good and right, I'm off now. Go, go get a drink, get some food. It's really nice because often videos take hours and hours and hours to film and then edit. Whereas um, this should be quite a nice easy one for Alex to edit up. So yeah, I am really pleased with that. I hope that everyone likes it. So if you would like to know just the basics of how to just get yourself an ordinary gel shellac, please do watch that video. I'll leave it linked up on the screen. <laughs> Hi guys. So yesterday I said I was going to show you our light and unpack the light and it didn't happen. I blame Alex. <laughs> We're as bad as each other. So I forgot to unpack the light. So I really wanted to do that today and show you the light. So I'm gonna do that in a minute. I'm just waiting for Alex. I'm just editing up. Finally finishing the edit on this how-to in 10, which is going up tonight. And we have the fire on. It is that cold in the house. It has been like really torrentially raining today. The flags though, look at these flags that Alex did. Have I shown you the difference? The difference is unreal. Like I didn't know we had flags with colors in them. Like they were literally gray, gray and black. I mean, you can just see. You can see them over there, see? See them? Alex didn't do them because he ran out of stuff. Like, look at the difference in the colours. We actually have colourful flags. And they're actually they're absolutely beautiful. Like, these would probably cost a fortune to buy. So I'm really pleased with this. It's just a real shame about the weather. So I'm just chilling in here with the fire on, which is kind of nice because we don't use this room very much. And I was like, instead of the orangery, let's use the nice lounge today. Oh, I could do with a nap. Enormous. Bags. <laughs> Please be right. <laughs> it says it definitely says gunmetal on the side. How Very many excited. Of well, that's more like it. You thought it would be bigger? Babe, it's absolutely enormous. Thought it'd be bigger. No, it's it's eighty I think it's eighty-five by a meter to this top bit here. Oh my gosh, look at it. It's brass and gunmetal. It's absolutely. Oh, you said. <laughs> it's, it's oh my god, it's brass and not gunmetal. <laughs> oh god. Oh my gosh, it's unreal. How do we get this out now? Do you reckon you might be able to pick it I'm up? I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Maybe just maybe bring this on its side. Oh my god, that weighs so much. It won't be as much when you get it. It's just a polystyrene. It'll probably be really heavy attaching it. <laughs> If I hold it like this, I'll, I'll take the weight of this if you can try and get that out of that. No. No? Definitely not? No, oh my god, my god, that's so heavy. Is it really? Yeah, no, no, it might come apart here, the staples. <laughs> okay, I spoke too soon. <laughs> oh. oh, that is one heavy, heavy ass piece of light. It's almost like we need like two poles to stick in either side just so we can pick it up. How is that going to hang off the ceiling? Not pull down the entire roof? Well, that's on Rob to figure out that is. <laughs> I don't know how we're going to get this in the house. <laughs> right, yo, next on the list, I'm about to make my. I'm about to make a peanut butter, banana, raw cocoa chip 
flapjack and I decided I'm gonna put it on the blog um, so I'm not gonna show you on camera just because <laughs> this vlog is going to be really long so instead I'm gonna end the vlog here I might just film a little tiny bit now of me doing this for the next vlog <laughs> but I really hope you've enjoyed this vlog at least guys um, thank you again to Charlotte Tilbury for sponsoring this vlog it was an honor to work on that project I hope you've all enjoyed it and yeah, I'll see you on my next one. Bye!